as the students and then the principal who are sub, uh, celebrated 70 years, how they can bring the conversation to bear. I'm uh, from Agnes Kujo. Agnes Kujo. Okay. I'm from Agnes Kujo. Agnes Kujo. Okay. I'm from Agnes Kujo. 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 I'm papa <laughs> Mm-hmm. And <laughs> If you were Kaji Binaz and Ojin Nemo, Nasa, Mpofono, Wanyanama, Ayazan, 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 that's on nine. Five cities. 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 Mami Bukum. Hey, two cities. Two cities. Eh. Three years ago, not on I. Ah, you are on fifty fifty cities. Fifty pass west. Fifty pass west. This is only two cities. This is two cities. Two cities. Oh, you bad. But no work, no work, sir. This is only ten yaman buyers. This is ten yaman buyers. And one baby Allah, one quarter. We are Milma. The sister, why is why is not me and Uncle Sanka 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 Why is and say I could say Sabana Yaben Saba? Not so well in Kuan Kans no more. Now I hear Jumon. No, you won't know. It's not that I want to walk to school there. Oh, I'm not walk to school. I want to school. I don't walk 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 school. I don't today <laughs> First one bed. Let's see why is Papa Papa or Jamie? Hey, okay. Let us see. Into my mic Agnes Kujo. That's a. Shama. Fantastic. Alampine. Miss Alampine. <laughs> well, so we're having a lot of conversations um, this morning, and 
you know, Agnes sells bread, ordinary bread, and she was telling me this one used to be 50 pesos three years ago. Now it's uh, two, two, two cities. So it means that we have, but we, we also need to make sure that when we're having the conversation, we're in a position to also expand a lot of conversation. Ma'am, oh, but in the meantime, we also would have to go back but, and also speak to a number of people as well. For all the things that we're talking about, it's all about the personal development of people, what they think about what needs to be done, and then also what needs to be done. Now, okay, so I have a number of people. Let, let, let me speak to you. Please come forward. Come, uh, come forward. Come forward. Uh, what's your name? I'm Safiatu. Safiatu. What, what, usually, what do you do? I'm a midwife. Okay, but you're here because your your school is celebrating. What was what's the name of your school? Second year NMCCC. So what's the NMCTC? Nursing and midwifery training college. Second year third. Second year. So you are an alumni. Yes, okay. So all you and your friends, right? Yes, please. All right. And um, take a look at the time you were in school. That would be how many years back? Like twelve years. So if you speak to the students currently. Or even the newly posted nurses or those young ones that you, okay, no, the ones that you <laughs> re, relax. Come come down. Come down. Okay, here. So hold the mic. Okay, so so if you just tell me your experiences. Um are the hospital setting for you as a young nurse. So what do you think are the main issues, Jermaine, that need to be dealt with when we're talking about um, issues at the hospital, for example. It's about the like supplies that we use. Yes. The supplies that we use at the hospital, we don't get it like as we used to get it formally. And now it is the things too are expensive. For most of the time, when they come and you even write drugs for them to purchase, they are unable to purchase most of their drugs. So they'll go and come back with recurrent infections and like they'll go and come back with the same sicknesses because they were not able to purchase their drugs. So they mostly come back. As a patient? A, yes, please. So I, I thought you have... Uh, what do we health have? Health insurance. Yes, yes. It covers part, not all. So, okay, so you tell me. What, what does the health insurance cover? At my unit, I'm a midwife, so I mostly take care of the um, pregnant women. Most of the time, even vitamin C, they have to pay for it. Vitamin C, which is one of the like routine drugs for the patient, which is a basic drug for most of our patients, they have to be purchase it. And sometimes the ones that the health insurance covers itself, they will come and we don't have them in the hospitals. At which hospital do you work? Takrady Hospital. The whole Takrady Hospital. Yes, please. It sometimes, sometimes it happens. Okay, but what are the main affordability issues for the patients? Because I believe you to your patients, but you see more of the patients. <laughs> Oh, so they are most like the, most of them can afford like some. Not all of them. Some of the basic like things. Para, para, Biko. Biko, Biko is health insurance. It's covered by the health insurance. Okay. Para is covered by the health insurance. Okay. So I, I, I'm, I'm itching to ask you a question. Why haven't you travelled? Because you say you finished school <laughs> 10, 12 years ago. So I'm wondering why you haven't. Very arrived. soon. Very soon. You, put, you always have very I, soon. I yelled or something like that. I you have uh, very, very soon. soon. What do you think is the main motivation factor for many of your colleagues leaving? I'm sure it's like it's the talk, it's because talk. of the motivation. Most of the time, our salaries doesn't. It's nothing to write home about. Our salaries are not are enough you, motivation. Okay. We don't have much. When did motivation. you get onto the payroll? I can't tell general. I'm well, very I'm close to nurses, so I know. Eh? 2014. 2014. Yes. 2014. Yes. So that'll be 10 years ago. Yes, please. So you, you, you but you had your licensure when? I did. I had my license in 2012. 2012. Yeah, I so had, did my national service on 2013. Then okay, so you're, 2014, you're I started um, 12 years a certified nurse. Yes, please. You a got onto the midwife. Midwife, okay. So you got onto the payroll 10 years ago. Yes, please. Okay. How much are you paid? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so <laughs> if there's, if there's um, something on your mind in terms of what you think generally to improve living standards for ordinary people what would it be and you you and i we are ordinary people we well, live in communities what do you think taxes like okay. reduction of tax and sometimes like scrubbing some of the taxes of course most of the time those in the market what they complain most about are like okofania maneba the taxes that are being charged they also have to add it to the things that they are selling making the things more expensive mm. so taking away some of the taxes and sometimes that some, some things that has don't have to be taxed Something like what? some of the drugs that we use at the hospital, those that are like imported. Uh, imported. I, I'm, I don't think they should add any taxes to it because 
coming to like the medication are for the people in the country. You add taxes to it before they are brought into the country for us to use. At the <laughs> workplace itself, when they come there to buy, there are indirect taxes mm. attached to it. Why so, is it that nurses are not covered by a certain health system? I don't understand that. Because some, I, are, some of them are covered. Like It depends on the hospital. Oh, okay. So your hospital, you are covered? They are doing something. You are doing something? Yes. You're almost like a police. Are you an assembly member? No, please. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll because get into because into you seem to maneuver the question I'll very well. get into politics. politics. The most important thing is the specialization will put the person to better practice. You understand? So, for instance, if you are talking about critical care, you and me bear witness when there is COVID. The journalists, you were asking how many ventilators do the country have. Yeah, that's true. The ventilators are being monitored by human beings. Yeah. So, if you don't have human beings to manage the ventilators, the ventilators are white elephants, useless. So, to be able to do that, we have to expand our horizon in training more nurses. That is also to say that the people in secondary, the people in the western region, and the people in other parts of the country are supposed to get better training and better services. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. If you go to Fia Quanta, they have only three critical care nurses. I don't understand. When you say critical care, in which areas? The critical care is a specialized nurses who care for serious and, and critically ill patients. So in which areas are they the only uh -huh. They are supposed to work at the theaters, recovery ward, intensive care unit, neonatal care unit, PICU, pediatric intensive care unit. If you have yes, but they are, a big hospital. Uh -huh. So if the whole regional hospital is having only three, then come to talk about Asan Gregor, half and other or even Takradi. Takradi and other hospitals. The same thing happens to three perioperative nurses. The perioperative nurses are nurses who have been trained specially to organize theaters for surgery. So if a neurosurgeon is coming to operate, because of his or her specialized training, he knew the equipment that is supposed to be used for the uh, operation. Hitherto, we have only three. So assuming the three comes to morning duty, afternoon and evening, when they want to operate, what will happen? Yeah. So we as secondary believe that we have to expand this and with the help of other benevolent, we are doing it. Okay. So this year, our team is to build a complete college mm. with the specialized training mm. for nurses. Okay. But you see us here today because we are in the 70th anniversary and we live on secondary land. We believe that cleanliness is next to godliness. Okay. So we have to come and support the secondary people to give them... So, our... so you came to do some activities? Yes, we are doing cleaning exercise. Alaji, I think that you didn't come alone. So let me give some room to some other... Who else will talk for me? Okay, this is your vice, eh? Vice president. Ah, okay. <laughs> is that the politics that... Choboy! Choboy! I've done the politics, you know, political conversation. So when you said vice, I thought you didn't mean vice president. So <laughs> but anyway, that, that's just an aside. Uh, please take the mic closer to you. Yeah. Um, so you came to do some, some training? Yeah, clean up clean exercise. Up. Okay, so you yes. clean up the whole market, the yes, lorry please. station. Yes, please. But why is it that we're dirty? You're, you're under this. Why? Uh, it's because of our attitudes. Um, people um, dispose of um, wastes anyhow anywhere okay. you know so we need to change our attitude okay you live in, you live in secondary takradi right you live in you live here yes please in municipal or metropolis do, what do you think needs to change in terms of sanitation etc as a as somebody who is who is living here not just as a, 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 a not only as a training person mm. for health professionals uh, what I will say is that uh, the government should look at the policies. You know, sometimes the policies, measures to maintain cleanliness is concentrated in the cities. But then when it comes to the towns and the metropolis, some items that we need to um, dispose of the waste are woefully uh, inadequate. So we plead with government that um, the government should also consider the communities, the cities, the villages to ensure that waste are disposed of well. Once 
we maintain cleanliness of the community or the environment, non-communicable diseases will um, be taken care of. Certainly. Well, it's good that you're, you're speaking on national issue. When you see us on TV, you say, I, I don't want to talk. Today I've caught you. I can ask you any question. <laughs> I can ask you any question. But let me just uh, introduce some few personalities here. Please, what's your name? Mike. You're... All right. My name is Laya Blaine Yamekama. Oh, oh, you're the candidate for yeah, the NDC. NDC. For second D. Yes, please. You, you want to take the seat away from uh, my friend. That's uh, lawyer Mesa. I, I am retiring him on you the 7th December. Him. Well, the voters will decide. They've already decided. Oh, okay. Yo. But um, wh wh what do you think considerably are the main issues that are confronting the constituency that needs to be uh, resolved? Um, because I know that there are a number of developmental... I see projects all around, so... You see uh, so, so, I, so I know that the government is doing a lot of projects in second day as well as in Takradi as well. So. Right, right. Before I move on, I just want to extend my greetings to the people of second day and then the um, students of the um, nursing training college. They are in my constituency. So um, big ups to them for the cleanups within the constituency and for their education as well. Um, um, you said there are developmental projects going on. Honestly speaking, we don't see that. Okay, okay. Or you could run it. Or you could run it. Yes, it be so. It be so. It be so. Yeah. Um, in but um, I don't. We don't think so. Not me alone. But I, I, I see projects. Second. Me who projects. Uh, they are doing a number of. Uh, and see, know, and the Well, the problem we have is, um, we thank God we are in the market today, and you could see. I wish I could have taken you around the market, and this market is one of the projects that was promised us in 2016 that they are going to face it for us. I don't understand. You mean during the campaign? Yes. And then we are in 2024, so the market is not done yet. And for our road, yes, um, they are doing the double road for us, but why would they wait for seven years before they begin to construct the road? Well, that somebody is the will question. say, why not? Better late than never. Um, better late than never is not enough. You see, you, you pick up a position and then you, you ought to live up to expectation. So if you are not living up to expectation, we, the citizens or the constituents, have the right to question you. So our question is, you picked up the position in 2016. Why wait until 2023 before you begin a project, knowing very well that it's going to be 2024 that we have an election? So you think it's ill-timed or it's deliberate? Of course, it's, it's, it's both. I would say both. Because, um, frankly speaking, Government have to always go out seeking funds. And if the funds are not ready, then project wouldn't be carried out. But oh. if, as you said, better late than never, but then effortly, they have to put in more effort to get us to where we are going. Mm. So if they're not going to get us the effort, putting the effort to get us to where we are going, then they have to stand aside for people that are ready to put in the effort to put in the job. Okay. Dr. Ama. Who cool running? Uh, I, I want so. to close my 70th anniversary celebrant uh, and then take them off. So what will be your last oh, words? Because, uh, you have to leave us. I'm told you have other activities. Just, yes. um, just the last few words. Our last few words is we are here to clean the city of Secondi as part of our social corporate responsibility. And as part of our anniversary celebration, we are giving back to the society. This year is an admission year, and the school is ready to cooperate with the secondary people okay. to admit them also to the college. Okay. Yes. Okay. We when, want to we want to ask the government to come and support us finally in our 70th anniversary. We have a 52 million project for the school. Okay. What project is it? We are building a jubilee complex for the program we are initiating. So we are asking. The Western Regional Corporate Bodies, Business, and other enterprises to come and support us. 
because to mark the, 70 years yes it's, 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 a year, it's a year long activity it's a year long activity when are you ending next year we are ending next year okay and then we have started projects that will facilitate the training mm. and we believe that when we're able to do more training mm. it will enhance the care of okay. nursing and our health delivery in the country not only western region but the whole ghana because we have only one critical care training in the country mm. and even if they have trained two thousand years like uh, two thousand nurses personnel. the school is about 25 years if they have even trained two thousand you look at attrition death stop, i mean so, uh, what do you call it, pension and travels meaning that we still don't have enough to train to work for us so we needed to train more nurses for the school All right. and we are asking that we are asking that all this is very important to us okay. because of the effect we are having on the care everybody is talking that we don't give proper care to All the right. patients because we don't have more specialized nurses mm. basic is basic so you have to improve on our care then we have to train more specialized nurses and that is what we want to tell all right. Ghanians. Okay. Thank Since you, you live much. in the constituency, you stay with us. All right. Please give the mic to my gentleman. Honorable, what's your name? I'm Isaac Donko. Isaac Donko. Are you yes. an assembly person? No, 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 no. You're a political exposed person? Yes, please. Okay. You hold any position in any I'm other the communication officer for secondary constituency. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, Andrew Japan says people, lawyer. Yes, please. All right. Okay. So, um, the, the candidate for the NDC, when it comes to second D, I, be, I was saying I, I've seen Kesri, based on my Kesri observation, there are a number of projects ongoing. And uh, he was saying that some of the projects were started late and some also have not been done. But what do you think that um, has been done by way of development over the last couple of years? For so he has admitted that we are doing projects, but it was started late, right? He said something about uh, the road at Ademba stretch or Ademba road to Kwekuma that they are doing double road. He said they started at uh, 2023 or 2024. I heard him say that, yes. I want to correct him. The road was started 2021. Government and MP didn't wait till 2023 or 2024 before they started the road. That was 2021. Yeah, I'll forgive him because he was not in this, in this country. He was in UK, so he didn't even know the time that they started the road. So I'll forgive him for that. And talking about projects that we've done in this constituency, if you look at this market that he mentioned, this market, as part of the 2022 budget, if you look at the projects that the government envisaged in doing the medium term project, the 33 projects, this market is number 32 on the list. But due say, to Fana, yes, due say to that again. Let me see. 2022. The budget, the 2022 budget. If you look at no, no, no. as part of as, as part of government projects that government envisaged across the country. Across the country. How many? 33 projects. Okay. Across Ghana. Across Ghana. Second market was number 32 on the list. But we all knew the financial constraints and the global challenges that we are the global challenges that we are facing. So that led to the delay of the market. And they and are not assuming... The delayed because of... Glo what are global challenges? Is it oh, COVID, Russia, Yeah, the, 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 uh, the post-COVID complications, the Black Sea area, we all know what happened. Then the... So COVID, Russia, Ukraine. Yes, effects. yes, so effects. Genius factors. Yes. And now we all know government hasn't financed any new project. We are continuing the old project that we started. And so... Uh, this Tuesday, our second lady came here. He said something to the market woman that Inshallah, when a Muslim says Inshallah, we all know the implications. That he will, she will make sure that the husband constructs this market when voted into power 2025. I don't understand. What do you say your name was again? Isaac Donko. Okay, so you say this is a critical market among 33 markets across Ghana. Not 33 markets, 33 projects. Okay, this is a critical project among 33, stated in the 2022 budget. Yes. So it is critical. It hasn't been done. Now the second lady is promising. That's that 2025. It will be done. It will be done. So why, wasn't, why, if we are recovering 
according to what um, government economic advisors and then those who lead the economy are saying, why hasn't the project been done then from 2022? No, you know, when government announces or read budget for 2022, you know, it takes effect the next year. I understand that. Yes. Why hasn't it been done? That's oh, it will be done. Feasibility studies has been done. And you know when they want to start any project or you want to start any project, you need to do feasibility studies. Drawings, everything, amount, everything, almost 100 million euros. They've done everything that they, they need much, to kickstart. How much is going to be spent on the project, oh, estimatedly? I think 100 million euros. Okay, so yes. you're saying that so, it has taken government from 2023 to 2020 feasibility, feasibility studies. And then it's going to take Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya if he wins to come and construct. Because the of the global challenges and the financial constraints that we are all facing globally. And the president said it that as part of the phase two of market cycle, secondly, market is the phase two project that when they finish the uh, so phase after, two. after the market cycle project, then they'll come. No. Now, Government is looking for funds, as I told you. Mm. But due to the financial constraints, they've not gotten the funds. Okay. So, the second lady promised us that she will make sure that the husband, that's it, when voted into power 2025. Okay. And I know definitely that we will do this market. And they are not ashamed. When they got their market, their market the second market was here. But they sent it to Kotakraba. But you are now here. Preaching that secondly people should come and work for you to come and do the market. Well, yeah, when you send the market to Kotakrawa, and I second you no yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying that yes. or your problem. It's not a problem. What I'm saying, and Tassi, say, Mary Roland. Mama can you then? Yes, it then. What's he? What's he? Well, promise him. There will be some market. No, listen there. We will be probably your mahena. And can watch a market and second market to a wire that the 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 wire that uh, when you come to education, when you come, to, uh, we've segregated it. Mm. So we have education, water and sanitation, human empowerment, health, sport, social amenities, road development. So I can uh, 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 go through the infrastructure facilities that uh, we've done in education. Okay. Coupled with the scholarship that MP has given to his constituents. Now we have, we are proud to say that we have some youth in Zongo. That they are now schooling at Northampton University. In second day Zongo. We want to erase that perception that uh, the Zongo people are, are being used for, uh, you know, the, the tag that. Some, you, some other auxiliary activities. Activities. Now, MP want to erase that perception that our youth in Zongo can also go to Reading University. And the MP is lawyer Japan. Yes. And, 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 and not only Reading University, we have people at Northampton University from second day Zongo. So it tells us that who have been given scholarships. scholarships by the member of parliament. Okay. So when you go to education, eh? So how did you select them? Was it open or you chose? Oh, it's open. People? It's open. Oh, I can even mention NDC executives who are benefiting from MP scholarship. NDC constituency executives, former executives who are benefiting from MP scholarship. But due to the the dirty politics that we've been doing, you know. Okay. Because he has benefited, and they know themselves, and they know themselves. Oh, um, so, uh, 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 my brother, so we we'll come back to it. Yeah, our, yeah, sure, our, our glass, I was a green green home. Oh, I want you to show our project. Yeah. Okay, my yes, Martin, into mobile hobby, mobile show, um, into CCM. What, 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 what's it? When you when you good plans for second day, what's the end is supposed to when you good plans for second day? Uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Roland. Uh, first and foremost, let me give a very thanks to you and to the people around here. Uh, first and foremost, it is disrespectful to the good people of second day for the communication officer of second day MPP 
to come and sit here and lie to the good people of Sekindi. What do you mean by that? I'm coming. On, the f on, on Monday, 5th December 2016, at Asemesu, the electoral area, the MP for Sekendi, Honorable Andre Kofi Japamesa, made four solemn promises to the good people of Sekendi. He made those promises for them to vote for him, to be given the opportunity to serve. Mm. But ask yourself whether those promises have been fulfilled or not. He's here talking about no disrespect to any other constituency. He's, he's here talking about minute projects. Uh, first and foremost, Sekendi is no mean a city. Sekendi is known for monumental developmental projects. Sekendi is not known for. Sekendi is not known for. For a want of a better word, small projects. Uh, the MP made a lot of promises. I want to. I want to run run you through that. Uh, he promised the good people of Sekendi. I promised Sekendi for the. I promised Sekendi for the. Se nyame ya adumne Sekendi for to abamana. Oba lobby will fight more establish GMPC operational head office national was secondi. As I'm talking to you right now, the GMPC operational head office has been opened in Takrad. It's close to GSTS. That's a failure on its part. That is number one. Number two. No, no, no. 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 We make matter quite for our man. Or is again if no one. So yeah, promise. No was exactly. a project office. Exactly. And now the head office no call. Exactly. 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 It tells you how incompetent our MP is. It's not about our form. Or incompetent. Number two, Ojina Hade, Ojina Semen Sudi, a electoral area. That was their final rally on 5th December 2016. It was on Monday. I promise there. So now we have no second for piano corner. Okay, MP. Or we make sure the second year market we renovate to a modern standard. In the Manuka say our market is dilapidated, nothing to write home about. Oh, yeah, second in the local market, see Salah, a foreign put ever close second market because our MP does not think about us. He, 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 he give, he give, he see no reason as to why he should develop second. Let me tell you one thing uh, there's another, there's another promise. He promised the good people of second there, saying, I may have no what to abomana. I will make sure that what is second, what we obey establish railway university was second. Many say the railway university is in the scandal. Another, another failure and incompetency on its part. Another one. But hey, you know a market now. That is, this is the market. After this program. But what's more, you? Um, it, it is part of priority projects that will be done. So already it's 20, 20, 20, among, 20, it's among 20, government priority 20, projects. 2019. 2019 September. Why then? The MP granted an interview with Sky Power FM and promised the good people of Sekendi there by 2020. By 2020, the constructor will be on site. Today's date is 16th or 17th, 17th, 16th, 16th August 2024. It's, all, it's more than four, five years. The MP again has failed. Another one, the MP promised the good people of Sekendi there. I'm more the outboard motor assembling plant because Sekendi is a fishing, right. commu fishing community. But let's ask ourselves whether he has been able to do that or not. Our MP has failed. In the menu case, MP in the second for where they go now swim into what I call to Danwa Beach Road. Where is second? What I call to Danwa Beach Road. One two about man not on yet second. Yeah, oh, but what two about man we are not second. If we are they go now swim into where is second? What I call to the Beach Road. That is how incompetent, how inept our MP is. And All right. This time okay, so around, we'll come there. Mo pacho ya wama ikeno hau mo. Into obi ope da wakase biya obi tum. Aha. Into aye um. There there are key considerations that. Are made when you want to undertake a project. See, see, Alan. A nurse phone. Yeah, you want to say no. What say? Walk around. Walk a year. A um, clean up of the markets. They notice that um, priority is not given to sanitation, etc. Would you want to respond to that, please? Uh, yes, you are a nurse yourself, yes, and yes. then also you are now an educationist yes. within the health training yes, yes. institution. And like my vice principal said. We Ghanaians don't take responsibility. Everybody wants to shift blame to somebody. I don't understand. Please explain. What I want to say is the market people themselves should keep them, their places clean. Because they shouldn't litter anyhow because Zoom Lion will come and pick their things. In as much as we are expecting Zoom Lion to come and pick their items, we must also be clean ourselves. So what we are saying is from what we have seen, those beans must be provided at a vantage point where people can put the things there. However, as we are coming here as 
social corporate responsibility at 70 years. We are living on secondary land. So we are coming to help clean the place. And we are not doing this for once. We will come continuously and support them to do it so that the people of Sakandi will start doing it. So you are going to do the assembly's work for them? Because I see that your students are... We are not going to do assembly's work for them. So, but periodically, periodically, you see, we as Sakandi, every semester, we donate blood to Efia Kwanta. You understand? We are supporting the community to develop. So if we tell you that as our 70th anniversary, we are fixing ourselves here to be doing cleaning exercise in the secondary market, we are doing it for the people to also continue doing it. Okay. Thank you. So you want to set the right as well? Yes. What's your expectation of the assembly then? I mean, you live in the community oh, as well. The, uh, what, what will be we your, are not your top three things you think need to be ideally prioritized by not only central government, but even the local assemblies? Yeah. Yes. That's what we are saying. That. So you've mentioned sanitation. What else? Water. 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 There's no water. We have some water crisis as a school. We Your have, school? Yes. The nursing midwifery training college, yes. second year. Yes. Celebrating 70 years. You have water crisis? Yes. Some water crisis? Yes. Do you have water crisis or you have some water some crisis? Some water crisis. Okay, tell me about the it. The water, you see, when there was, uh, we, we needed a mechanized borehole so that when there's no Ghana water, we can serve our students. When there's no Ghana water, we buy from the tankers. And the tankers' water, I, as a nurse, will say that they are not very hygienic. You understand? And we have over 1,400 students, 1,600 students in our school. So if you don't have good hygiene, good water, it's a problem. And 99% of our students are women. So if I'm talking about water, you should understand it. Thank you very much. All right. Please stand by. Why do I have... Padeka, uh, sir. Uh, okay. My brother, my catcher principal, there. Uh, no water project, you know. Uh, my brother, I'm in. I'm in. You come and fix the water project. Come and fix the water project. I'm a politician. <laughs> you. <laughs> um, so, so, your own is for free water or or, re, or rehabilitation? Uh, so that they can uh, you do mechanize. You do mechanize. Yes, mechanize. mechanize. That's it. Yo, That's it. That's okay. it. Now, now, uh, no, 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 no. Project be a wire or NMTC. Or Nelson and Midriffy. Now, them project, no. MP for second D. One won 500 million. And can 50,000. Principal now not now, you can ask him. Okay, now chat the MP Nandre Japa Mesa. Yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, commitment. Oh, I'm on 50,000 Ghana cities. 50,000. No, I'm on 50, cement. 50. Cement, 50 bucks. For the school. For the school. No, what's also I'm on? Oh yeah, street light. 50 pieces. So. No, you know, you're NMTC. Also, you know, yes. I don't know what's in that for our bridging. A principal not in a ha. A real abyssin said MP man 500 million for one project. I'm a no, I'm a no, I'm a no 50 bucks of cement. Okay, one more street lighter. What's in a real person? But your introduction, my anchor, but your father, what's your name? Parmesa. Parmesa. Papa Mesa. Parmesa. Papa Mesa. All right, please. Papa Mesa, right. All right, please let me take some views from our mics. First one. Okay. What um, What do you think is the sort of development that you wish to see? You have seen that you wish also to see. Uh, maybe you've seen over the last couple of years that you also wish to see going forward. First and foremost. What's your name? I would. Okay. Um, I'm by name Latif. Okay, Mr. Latif, go ahead. Uh, um, first and foremost, I would want to chip into what um, this good gentleman said. You see. Yeah, the one who's like, yeah, who spoke. Um, the reason why, um, like, I would want to chip into what um, he, uh, he said. You are was, reacting to it. Yeah, okay. like, I would want to react to his statements. You see, like, we are here to Jojo on the, um, as in, the improvement of second D and the development of second D. But he spoke solely as if we were, um, we were doing politics. 
that, like this is beyond partisan politics. You understand? If the MP should see, if the MP promised he was going to fight to establish a GMPC office in second D, you understand? Like there's a difference between to establish and to build. To build means he has confirmed whether or not he is going to like physically bring the office here. To establish is solely different. The thing is, it's not as if the MP did not fight to establish, no. He fought, but, oh, like we were here, the contractors came on ground, they checked everything, but no, the land wasn't possible. Like, the land wasn't possible for the establishment. That is why um, Takradi took the project. Secondly, the MP, like, he made mention of a lot of promises, which is solely like. I don't understand. You are saying the land was rejecting the establishment of exactly, which exactly, land? Exactly. You mean the people... Or there was no av land available. The land itself wasn't fit enough. The land itself. The land itself. To establish a building. Exactly. exactly. It's not the, engineer. The, it's, it's not. It's not. I, I don't understand. It, Please explain. It's a. It's a. Listen. 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 Mr. Brofo, relax. <laughs> Mr. Brofo. Uh, yeah, Brofo, I'm Your time is up. My time, time is, is up. up. Mm, just wrap up. Wrap up. Yeah. It's a water-prone area, you understand? One, it's a water-prone area. You mean the area. designated area? Exactly, they exactly, to... exactly. It's a water-prone area, you understand? What, like, I would want to tell my, like, my you friend You mean water-prone areas you cannot build? Dubai, even they reclaim CO? Here is not Dubai. So what are you talking about? Ghana is different from Dubai. Yes. Ghana is totally different from Dubai. You don't expect, like, some of the, or, like, you don't expect certain uh, projects to be done in Dubai, automatically be done here. No, it's not accepted. Here is Ghana, there is Dubai. You are, you are, like you understand so like we shouldn't expect things there to solely happen here no no okay okay so let me take another comment just two minutes on this my name is my name is Hashim Tankonu and um, uh, um, my brother record on your on Tashum on your on Tashum on fun to call me baby oh assassin or bandana you know and people born Nana no kade obesi GMPC headquarters wo Western Region headquarters wo National headquarters wo sekendi. Ozobaba sekendi. Ozobaba sekendi. Wa friend that eh eh Takwa di MP. Takwa di MP wa promise. Takwa di MP wa make that promise. Now you have documents. Wa promise do the GMPC headquarters boko. Sekendi MP bobo. Okay no kan podo wo wi a o de abo. Bessi takwa da da be sekendi. A be sent takwa da bo be sekendi. Inti se takwa di MP wa promise. Me men say ho. Oh, just the glove wa. Wa wa ni wa wetin wa ya we. O se o di tak I want to take da abo o da be sekendi because GMPC and contest no by them. O le be sekendi. O wi e no. A che da go one promise. One promise GMPC we si ho. In the me we put o ti da ha no. O se de Asasulu here, what a prone area. And there, no one could turn it, Nampi. Nampi Katina Radio, look at there. Asasulu, a full Simafu, no what delay. Shamafu. Simma, Simma, Sab is SCMA. SCMA, second. No what delay. I the ma in GMPC headquarters in Obaha. So which is which? I'll contract it, Nampi. Secondly, Empino, Empino, a cadet at the University of Obaha. We better work. University of Wayne. Oh, I'm sorry, you're MP Nicadam. Oh, I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a university. What's second day? I'm a university. I'm a friend. 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 I'm I see the and you saw the one in the university. Eight years in the LQA. Eight even kindergarten university on Sibi. Think kindergarten university on Sibi. Project in all Joel, like a Kenya, I Sima. Sima project, a Sima project, and this year's P day. And this year's Sima project P. What's it like? Oh, yeah, them, them all, uh, and MTC will issue no Alcano. And MTC issue no Alcano. It didn't. Look, I am a boy now. One of fifty for twenty eight years. I'm a cement. Say, I saw America for twenty eight years. No way, the emperor come out. It is in there. I look at one more five hundred thousand. One more cement. Who oversaw that mess? They did. They oversaw the mess. And you see, 
I don't physically want to be on your lip service. It wouldn't solve the problem. The prisoner is here. I'm going to call for reaction. I'm going to call for reaction. I'm going to call for reaction. Uh, my partner reply, reply one because I, as someone who you can, what say, I MP, I have promise that when I establish the university was second day, my boy, what's your take, yeah, and then a number of projects as well. What's the reaction so far? Yes, I mean, you make make here, money and um, second day, second day, food on, yeah, more if you, now the pay. Yeah, chair and argent. Uh, I am not quite there in MP. Uh, one of the project I would just see in your today. Obey anchor development project. Only the about the possibility. Ah, it was a bit because I did say in the possibility of establishing a university. Obey now I started on in wage ma. On your Alban University for where yeah programmer. Uh, there we good way. What I need M O U. How I will be sure now. You know yes. I say, I'm a university, university in the US. Yes. In the US. Yes. Yes. They even came severally. Now, second day, you have a peculiar issue. Second day, you have a peculiar issue. Land or a very big issue. Look, NDC funeral one time. Look, uh, Eurojet project in second day was supposed to have gotten a district, assembly, a district hospital. Second D District Hospital. They didn't locate a land when your land was second D. So the land was the project was sent to I'm coming. I want to I want to bring the two together. Let's stay focused. Yes. You are saying that even during the NDC, the NDC period, the second D metropolis was supposed to have that's second D Takrade was supposed to have benefited from as a consequence. District hospital. A district. But because of the problem of land. It the was taken. Yes, land. the project was taken to Eskadu Katan constituency. Okay. In fact, Eskadu Katan constituency, part of it is secondary traditional area. So okay. when at times we are discussing political lines and traditional, yes. So that's why it was taken there. That project did not find the light of day. It was part of the money so it was they used. To Escado, uh, yes, because it didn't of find, the lack of land yes, and that, available. Yes, but let me ask I'm you. Coming. If you is go that, to, is that the reason why oh. we have the problem? In terms of the promise not materializing again land it is part but it is it is not as if uh, hands have been thrown into air as we speak during their time ndc their plan was to take our regional hospital to Aguna oh, Quanta. Please speak to the thing. Yes, Why is it that we it. don't have a university that has been promised by I'm the coming. MP? it's a very basic thing i'm coming oh but master i'm bringing i'm bringing you i'm bringing you the university because as we speak now if you're quanta is being developed into a, tech, uh, a teaching hospital, of which the phase two is to have a medical school attached to it. I'm, I'm not sure that is not an university. You can tell me it is not an university. You can tell me it is not an university. And that project, I'm coming. So you are saying that? I'm coming. I'm the, coming. Let me get this straight. Are you saying that? Are you saying that the MP's promise of establish of establishing a university? It's what the medical school is trying to establish. Yes. Now the, 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 because the, of the medical Abdullah school being Bino, established uh, is the university that the MP promised. Is that what you are saying? So, for is, example, tomorrow. That is the lobby. Yes, that, that is the, the lobby has, the MP has made. But for, but for the MP, the project will have... That project, the same quarter no, project, I, I will have been done. simple question. You understand? You see, that's that is the, the focus. No, so yes, pa, that is pa, it. Pa, please, yes, that, that is it. I'm saying that the university that the MP promised on the campaign platform... Has it been established? You said there's uh, an uh, MOU and thing established with an outside university based in the US. Yes. So because has the project materialized or it has now metamorphosed into a medical school to be attached to the university? That is the it. So, so that uh, uh, there were challenges. The program ran into a challenge with Alban University. So now the MP lobbied for this project so that his, his vision his vision of having a university in second D will materialize through the Efeu Quanta redevelopment. And that project alone is 214 million euro. The largest investment every government has made in second D. In second D. So for that one, you cannot throw that All away. Right. Give, I, I let, wanted, let me get some confirmation. I wanted, you, you are not done eh? Yes, okay. yes. Me, I want some confirmation. Let me tell you, I want to 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 tell you, I want
Okay. Obandena, GMPC, only headquarters was second The mom was a quarter credit. You know, you there. A band named Jumezino, Odu Babia, the dynamics of Botumasa.